Hi guys, welcome back to Yorkshire Car Restorations. In this video, we're gonna run through a few of the air tools and hand tools that we use during those videos. So, let's crack on. So the first tool we're gonna to go to is the grinder. Now this is a battery powered 18 volt, five amp power um, grinder. Uh, it does hold a charge for quite a long time. And you can use either the flappy disc, the grinding disc, which does take metal off really quickly that or the cutting disc. Now these are 4.5 inch discs, as are as air grinders and everything like that. But you'll see us use this a lot, just out of convenience, because we haven't got an airline. Um, these are a few pennies to buy. This one's a snap on one, um, but they, they are very convenient. Um, your cheaper alternative to that, if you do have a compressor, is the air tools. Now, this is exactly the same thing, uh, no difference. It's a little bit more mobile. Um, and again, they take the 4.5 inch cutting disc as well as the grinding disc and the flappy wheels as well. Uh, so you can put anything in these. Uh, like I say, you could probably pick one of these up for about 50 pound. Right, so next tool we're gonna look at are the belt sanders. Now, we do have a few of these. We prefer, for the, for the cost, the Sealy Premier ones. Um, they're quite reliable. Um, they do work very well, they've got good revs per minute on them, and they're very light. Even the bigger one, the bigger version of this, which I don't have here, same, same size as this. This is a 10 mil, this is a 20 mil. Uh, we have this one in Sealy Premier as well, just because it is a very light tool. Uh, you, do, you do see us using these a lot. Basically, these are for, they'd say on the tin, don't use as a grinder, we grind everything off them. They're definitely a good tool to have. If you're only gonna buy one, you could probably pick, I think, well, you can. You can pick one of these up, I think in a silver line or something like that, for about 35 pound, and that lasted me two years, uh, the last one I bought. Um, these are a little bit more expensive, the uh, Sealy Premier ones, but they do last a little bit longer. And if you're only gonna buy one, I would buy a 20 mil one, um, just because it'll do just about every job you really want to do. Okay, on to the next tool. You don't see us use this too often. Now this is um, it's basically an air, air saw. Uh, you just, all you do is you get a stand, Stanley knife blade, Stanley knife blade, door blade, snap me in half. See the curly bit here where I snapped it in half. And all you do is use an Allen key to, to lock it off in there. You just slide it in, lock it off, and you've got, basically you've got a hacksaw that's air powered. Uh, it does this really, really quickly. Um, again, we've got a snap on one. We don't use that too often because actually this cheap 25 pound one, it, there's not even no label on it. I don't even know what made by it, but I bought it off of eBay. Um, this one is actually better than this one. It's quicker, um, it's easier to change the blade, and it just whizzes through things a little bit quicker. Now, our next one again is a die grinder. Now, if you're, if you weld into a corner and you need to shape that corner, you need to shape that weld down or anything like that, there's no way you can get any of the belt sanders, even this, this little one here, uh, this 10 mil one, you can't get in that corner. Now, with a die grinder, with this piece on, you can just to shape that corner or just to get that bit of, uh, bit of rust out of that corner. I mean, the, again, this is a, this is a blue point, um, uh, again, a snap on make these. And this has got fantastic revs per minute, but it's also got a handle and it's got long reach as well. You can buy, this is quite a few pennies, but you can buy, this one lasted me forever. This is a, um, uh, this is this is a cheap one. Uh, I don't even know this is made by. This is Silverline, uh, 35 quid. Again, eBay. And this, it still works. There's still nothing wrong with it. It's just this one's longer. And this one has lasted me, uh, what is it now, about four years? And it's still going strong, uh, nothing wrong with it. So these do last you a long time. Right, next on the agenda is this little air tool. I mean, this is just a 90 degree. It's basically, it's one of these in a smaller case, but on a 90 degree. Um, so the, these, the revs per minute on these, like diagrams, are really, really quick. And there's a multi-varied tools that you can put in this end as well. And it does, I mean, again, the, this is a new, fairly new addition to our, our, um, our tool collection. 
and this we use for things like round window surrounds, again in hard places to get to or if we want to be gentle with the metal and just take paint off or polish it up or something like that. You can get more abrasive discs for this but we use other things for that. Usually one of these with a flappy disc on it. Again you can get most of the tools like the flappy discs uh, in same dollar 80 grade absolutely anything as well as right up to polishing tools for these. But tool for the job, uh, we just use it basically for hard to reach areas and usually just to take, just to prep surfaces, things like that. We don't use it as a grinder. Our next tool is the nibbler. Now, I don't think you've seen, apart from our rear arch videos, I don't think you've probably seen us use this. Now, I will have to demonstrate this to show you. One airline, uh, these connectors are all HVLP by the way. I think they call them Euro connectors as well. Uh, they're basically high volume, low pressure. Pop that on there. <coughs> basically this, this end bit, this will cut through. <coughs> any steel. The nice thing about it is it makes a nice clean edge. No distortion, no wobbling in the panel, apart from my wobbly line. No wobbling in the panel or anything. And again, <laughs> this one is again made by Blue Point, but you can pick these up for about, again, 30 quid off eBay. So, right, this, this is just a slitted disc, and we can get really hard to reach areas and just chisel around corners and things like that. You won't see us use this very often, because usually we can get in with this. So this only comes in handy if something's too small for us to get to. But when we do need it, it really does come in handy. Again, you can get the bits and the chuck to fit the die grinder just so you can put these in. So you actually just need one tool. You don't need to. You can use this die grinder, cutty disc. You can even put a flappy disc in these. Right, next up, the air chisel. Now, you don't need one of these. Um, they are very handy if you're doing a lot of uh, stripping down, parting panels, spot wells, things like that, or just chiseling rust out where you do need them. We do use this quite a bit. Hence, it's a you do need a fairly good one if you're gonna use it heavily like we do. We use it all the time. Um, this is a blue, uh, blue point one, yeah, blue point. Um, this has got the quick release chuck. Um, the other ones are spring-loaded spring loaded chucks, um, but it's essentially the same as all the rest. Um, all it basically does, it's, it's a hammer motion in here, and it's just hitting my chisel. That's all it's doing. Right, last but not least, is this little baby. Now, again, you'll see us use this all the time. All this is a set of pins, and basically, it's doing the same motion as this, but with lots of pins. So what that does, if we use this, if you'll can you see? Those pins jump up and down. And if we've got a rusty panel, squeeze that panel off. You just get down to the rusty metal and from there you can either cut, clean or treat. An airline blower hand. Again, very self explanatory. Pop it on. You just blow things off. Nice and easy. Also, what we're going to add in this video is the clear spray that everybody keeps asking us about. Um, it's Mipper, Mipperox. Basically, this is an anti-rust spray. It's, it's got a rust neutralizer in here. So if there's any surface rust, very similar to this panel we did here, and all you do is that's it. That's all you need. Uh, and what that'll do is that'll soak into the surface rust and it'll neutralize that rust dead in its tracks. From there, you can put a coating over the top of that to stop it dead in its tracks. We also get asked a lot what the sealant is that we use. Now, our preferred sealant, we can't always get hold of this uh, from our tool man. 
So we do sometimes use a cheaper alternative, almost exactly the same. If you're just sealing things like weld, uh, small holes, the pinholes that you may get between welds uh, to keep water out and keep everything watertight, this is, this is what we prefer to use, but you can use the cheaper one for that. Just seal it all off, just seal over the top of your wells with Upol Tiger Seal. Fantastic product. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, leave us a like and smash that subscribe button. Until then, we will see you in the next one. Until when? Until when? Until when? When? Did I you don't. Say when? Yeah, Until I know. When? Yeah. Did you say when or then? No, then. Until then. But when is then? I never told him what we were doing. <laughs> <laughs>